I am traveling to Pittsburgh at the start of October, Ike. So given that you played for the Steelers for 12 years, week four against the Jets, Steelers are taking on New York, New York, the city so great they named it twice to October the 2nd. Where do I need to go? What do I need to see? Obviously, I'm going to be going to the game, but I want to hear it first from you, Ike Taylor. And then if any of the listeners and viewers have suggestions, please let us know in the comments. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to pull up on you. I'm going to be the when you when you get down, be the. So we're going we're gonna to go. Got to smoke up. One of a kind. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. First downtown and get a one of a kind. You know, cigar, that's that's what we got to do. But and then from there, we're just going to take off. So i see you when you get there, and we can just bounce around and take you to all, like, the historic. Um, but what you what you will love is as soon as you come out of that Fort Pitt tunnel, and I don't know what time you're going to get there during the day and night, but it's it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful scenery, especially when you come out at night. So you come out that Fort Pitt tunnel, and that welcomes you to the city of Pittsburgh. And nothing in the world like I, I, people in Pittsburgh, I think, kind of take that for granted because they're so used to it. But Mark, once you come on that Fort Pitt tunnel and you see that city to the left of you, you're gonna see uh, Akershaw Field and PNC Baseball Park. To the right, you're gonna see downtown, and you're gonna be coming under the Margaret Haley River. Once you see, once you see all that, and hopefully you get to see it at night. You can be like. It's it's a postcard picture. That's 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 exactly it's it's a postcard picture, and um, yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta see that you gotta experience. You can hear all the you can hear all the Pittsburgh accents, not downtown, downtown. You know, Pittsburgh got their own little language. They got their own little accent. So you can hear the Pittsburghese uh, language, which is real cool and fun. But then you just gonna feel like. You gonna feel it in the L once you get out. Whether you getting out, and going to your hotel or Airbnb. Oh yeah, this is a hard working city. Like it ain't nothing but trucks, trucks and cars. Like people go to work to feed their family. You can just it's it's in the L, you know. And I and, and I tell people all the time, Pittsburgh got me the way I am today when it comes down to being low key. You know, just hanging around billionaires, Mark and them boys driving trucks like. In the city of Pittsburgh, you always blend in. You don't never want to stand out, regardless of what your status is when it comes down to the money. That's 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 why I love the city of Pittsburgh. That's one thing Pittsburgh taught me, you know. So we're going, we're going to enjoy ourselves, man, coming to Pittsburgh. Man, we're going to have a good time, man. A good old Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a city where you still bring lunchbox to work. You know, that's that's the old school mentality in Pittsburgh. You know, them boys, them boys, you know, for their lunch break, they got sandwiches and chips that and and a Coca-Cola that their wife, wife that made for them. You don't have that anymore. So now I get it. And, and she might make it for a couple of his family, but me, me a couple of his employees as well. So that's that's that old, that's that old school. That's what Pittsburgh is. It's just that old school, you know, hard working, um, very prideful city. So yeah, that's where we at with it. I'm looking forward to it. I, I'll be driving down or driving up, I should say, from North Carolina on the Saturday. So going to try to get in like late afternoon, early evening. And then it's like it's going to be a marathon, not a sprint. So it's like I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to do too much, too, too much on Saturday night. But I'm looking forward to it. Ike. It's going to be a great trip. Yeah. Got to pace that thing. You don't yes. pace that thing. That thing going to pace you for real. <laughs> Awesome. So again, if anyone has suggestions for us to let us know of places we need to check out too. But again, October 2nd, I've finalized my plans. I'm very, very excited for that. 